all right guys so welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be covering pulling a tune from your speedwino ecu all right so maybe you bought a car with a speedwino ecu already installed maybe you switch laptops and then you have you didn't have your tune save and you want that pull from your ecu here's what you need to do to get that tune pulled from your speedwino ecu what you do need, you need a laptop. You need your ECU connected via USB to the laptop. You do not need power onto the laptop. So what I mean by that, the car doesn't need to be wired up. The ECU could be on a table and it will work just fine as long as it has a USB connected to it. It helps to have a Wi-Fi or hotspot connection. And of course, you need Tuner Studio. Tuner Studio is a software which we're going to use to pull that tune. Um, you also need the drivers for the Arduino installed on your ecu the quick way of getting all of those drivers is just go ahead and download and install the arduino ide top left of my screen here and that will give you all the drivers needed all right so now that you have all of that situated we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to pull that tune to do this we start off by just creating a new project the name does not really matter. We can leave it as my car. You can name it as anything you choose. And then on the firmware, you just hit detect. So what this is going to do is that Tuner Studio is going to attempt to pull whatever firmware it picks up on the COM port. So it's going to identify the COM port and the ECU and the firmware that is on your Speedwino. All right, and just like that, a few seconds later, we can see Tuner Studio reported that our USB is on COM port 5, um, baud rate 11.5200, and it found a Speedwino which is running the 2022.07 firmware. So all we need to do, we're going to hit Accept. We're going to hit Next. And there, you're going to create a new project for the car. So it's going to ask you a bunch of stuff. Do you want to use AFR inside of Lambda, Fahrenheit instead of um, Celsius? I usually always use Celsius, but that does not, that is not really critical for now. You can always go back and change this afterwards. So you hit next. So what it did it now, it's, it just tested the COM port to see if it, we had an accurate connection. Like that was successful. So we hit next. And lastly, it's going to ask us to create a dashboard. If you have the paid version, you can always edit that afterwards. If you have the free version, this is what you're going to be stuck with. But that is fine to get most cars going. Again, this is not super critical for today's video. So we just hit finish. Now we see Tuner Studio is now connected to the Speedwino and it's now online. So with that now, we can go in here and then we can check out whatever tune is in there, right? The, the way I usually do it because of the different issues and different guys I work with, I just go in and I look at the VE table. All right, and I can see this one for the load axis, the Y axis, I'm using TPS and I can see very high RPM. So off the top of my head, I'm going to say this is an ECU that I use on my GSX-R600 motorcycle because none of my cars actually rev up to 15,000 RPMs. Right, and then with that, you can also check out your other settings like spark map, AFR tables, and whatnot. Right, so now you have this here. It's already been displayed in China Studio. You need to save it. So it has, it's as simple as it in the top left. Hit file, save tune as. Usually like saving stuff on my desktop. So that we can give this a unique name in case you need to send this to me or save this for yourself. So let's just call this pulled tune and we just go ahead and we save that on our desktop we hit save and just like that our tune is now saved so the, the file is called tune file and the extension is an msq and with that you have a copy of whatever tune that came on your new car or your new ecu saved on your desktop right super simple so hopefully this was helpful to someone if it was leave a like if it wasn't, still leave a like. It's a good thing to do. All right. Anything else? Any of the any oh any further questions? Leave a comment down below, and I'll try my best to help. Till the next time, guys. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.